ladies and gentlemen, we have just left the Christian Ronaldo Airport in Madeira. Please remain seated with your seat belts fastened until the fastest seat belt sign is switched off. Welcome to episode number 3 of my vlog. This time I welcome you from the wonderful island of Madeira, Portugal. Well, more or less, as you can see, it's not really a fancy hotel room or a beautiful landscape here in the background, it's my office. Um, this vlog may be a bit all over the place and this is simple because I forgot to film because I was so focused on photography that I just haven't spoken about the images and the compositions I took, so I'm sorry for that. Um, but nevertheless, let's start. For the first location we hit the road for like a little bit more than an hour. We started at Funchal, the center of or the main city of Madeira and drove up to the highlands, more than 2,000 meters above sea level. There we found these really beautiful and special trees that stand solitary on this, on this plateau and make for some amazing images. For the first composition I decided on a very interesting tree. At first sight it looks like it's dead, but if you look closer it goes down into the ground and like grew up new. It's so special. And um, I'm working here with my Canon 5 DSR um, with the 24 to 105 at around 70 millimeters. The aperture is like f6.3. I choose that to blur out the background slightly to separate the tree from the wood and sky and sea in the background. Um, as it was around midday you won't be really surprised to see a black and white image here. Just a few meters away I found another interesting tree that makes for another great composition. So I decided to include the sun this time into the image. Of course it produces some flares and um, I worked with my 17mm tilt shift lens which is very affected to, to sun flares, but in this case I think I like it. But let me know what you think down below in the comments and see what it looks like. sunset we hit the road again because I looked up some sea stacks prior to our trip and so we jumped into the car make it our way down to sea level again which was only like 15 to 20 minutes and found ourselves in this beautiful amazing magically place down by the ocean which was so enjoyable I searched for a nice foreground in all of these rocks. The first try failed, but I found this nice rock with some green on it nearby. It made for an incredible foreground as the colors contrasting to the colors of the sky and the sea. And with the sea stacks in the middle ground and the sky in the background, the image looked complete for me. 
So I worked with the 5DSR again and uh, also with the 17mm tilt shift lens. This lens is so incredibly sharp and versatile and I really love to work with it. I also blended 5 images to gain more dynamic range. So it's kind of hard to say which shutter speed I used for this image, but uh, the aperture was at f16 and the ISO at 100. I spent quite some time to capture the perfect wave, that it shows enough rocks but also enough from the wave in the image. And uh, it took me quite some, some attempts to, to achieve that, but after that last wave hit me, I decided I have enough, that's good. and. Um, yeah, I must admit, I really like the final image. I think the lack of filming and the focus on photography ended up in some really amazing images. Or what's your opinion? Please let me down below in the comments. I'm really interested what you think about the image or the video in general. And um, yeah, I'll leave you with a few snapshots from the trip. Call this an episode and thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye! Bye.